Alright, so we have here the yakitori baka style Tokyo style chicken heart. Fold it over. Nice and soft. Just cook it from the inside out. Hey Yaki Gang, Yakitori Guy here and welcome back to my channel. I took a short break to focus my attention on more important things happening around the world right now, but I'm happy to be back in front of the camera to show you guys a skewer that really speaks to my yakitori heart. So right here we have the chicken hatsu or the chicken hearts. It's the muscular organ that literally pumps life to the chicken. However, for me, it's pumped up excitement to learn more about the in-depth kodaware yakitori from the master chefs around the world. And I'll get into that shortly. However, for today's lesson, we're gonna be focusing on the chicken heart, on how to prep it, how to skewer it, and how to grill it so that you guys watching at home can make really delicious chicken yakitori. All right, so let's get to it. First, let's take a look at this heart. As a muscle, it can be very chewy. So shops have found different ways to make it taste and juicy. So many shops in Japan will serve this somewhat medium rare to prevent it from drying out. Some shops will serve it whole, especially if it's a smaller chicken like heart like this, you can serve it whole. But if it's a bigger chicken heart like this, you can cut this in half and it's still a pretty big piece. Now, the chicken heart has two distinctive sections. The main muscular area right here, the red part that does all the pumping. And in the top part, this is where you're gonna see a lot of these tubes and arteries and sort of this fat around it. And when you first take the heart out of the chicken, it's actually connected to the liver you, with the connected tissue known as the tsunagi or basically means connector. And that area when made as a skewer, so if you, right here, this would be basically the tsunagi area right here you can skewer this, and this is the Hatsumoto, meaning the base of the heart. Now when you buy the heart at the grocery store, usually it's gonna be cleaned up, the livers and the heart separated, so you're not gonna have too much of the tsunagi, but as you can see, depending on where you get your chickens, these ones came with a lot of the tsunagi right here. So, you know, we can definitely just cut this fat part off. This is all the tsunagi. And then we're gonna make skewers from this. So we take this, hook through, kind of looks a little crazy, a little funky, maybe zombie-like, but this is really just fatty and, and chewy, and so this is really good. So this is right here, what we're making, it is the Hatsumoto, right here, so this is the Hatsumoto. What we're gonna do is make another one of these, so I have all these, the ones that are sticking out right here, just cut them off. So we have all the connective area right here. So literally just sort of pinch, find the smaller ones and we're gonna work our way up. Find smaller ones and kind of pinch and push them through. Two skewers right here, Hatsumoto. Next, we're gonna be making what I call the yakitori baka, Tokyo style heart. So we're gonna try to get as bigger pieces of heart as possible. The big ones always work better for this. And we're gonna cut this long ways. Let's go ahead and do that to this one as well. I've done a few more over here. So what we're gonna do for skewing these, take the tip of the heart, so this is the inside of the heart, it's the outside of the heart, and we just skewer it through the tip right here. Now on this side though, we're gonna then take the base of the heart, where the fat is, skewer it through. So it's gonna look somewhat like this. Now I'm kinda doing it in the air to show you guys, but ideally you wanna do it on the ground or on the cutting board. And then once you skewer this in, I'm gonna poke it in and that's gonna skewer through the top end and this fatty part is in between. Now rotate it and then you skewer the top end. And what happens here is basically creates sort of a yin yang shape and the fatty side is cooking it inside out. So we want the fat on the inside. And so this is one way to make the heart really nice and plump and juicy. So let's go ahead and poke another right here, the tip. 
flip it around, take the end of it, the fatty end, poke it through, then poke it through, and then we're gonna flip and poke the tip through. So what we have here is essentially this sort of an S or yin yang shape. And as I said, the fatty side is inside, and it's gonna cook the inside out right here. It's gonna stay super juicy. So let me go ahead and do the rest of these. Now, there's other ways to do this, but I wanna do one more uh, yakitori baka style. So once again, through the tip, and then the end right here. And then you can use this cutting board and push it in, push it in. Tip, and cutting board. And right here, you can use the cutting board as a friction point. Rotate it, cutting board friction point. And you're gonna get something like this. So we have two of these. Now I wanted to show you guys another other methods of skewering hearts. We definitely can take, if you have smaller hearts, such as these two, some places we'll just skewer it whole. I've seen it skewered this way. I've seen other places skewer them. You can do it sideways. If you have cut like this, if you have maybe a few more cut, you can skewer them it's flat, flat, flat through, flat through, something like this. So just showing you guys, you can skewer them whole or even just half basically flat width through. So just different ways of skewering them. If you open up the heart, these are pretty clean, but sometimes you're gonna see some blood clot in there. If you do any see any blood clot, so use the tip of your knife and just remove it out. And if sometimes if you push it out, it's gonna come out. So these are fairly clean and just use a paper towel to keep your area clean of blood. But if you do see blood, sort of gelatinous blood, just clean it out. Um, just gonna taste better, just better flavor. See, I wanted to show you guys basically a blood clot right here. Have heart skewers. Let's get them on the grill. Start with the Hatsumoto. It's gonna salt put it on. Yakitori baka style heart. Half heart. Yakitori baka style heart. Came a little loose. And then the whole hearts. Here. Some sake spray, the moisture. So as you guys may know, I started learning yakitori in 2018 by carefully dissecting whatever videos and posts I found online. But there wasn't much. And at that time, Chef Kono, who was working at Torishin, a Mission Star Yakitori restaurant in New York, was featured in this video. It's a short documentary style video by Eater. And I've watched that video countless times, basically over and over. And that's where I first learned about sort of the Kodawari Yakitori rare parts. And in that video, he talks about how the Hatsumoto is one of the, the rarest, but you know, most interesting, one of his favorite skewers. And I never knew about the Hatsumoto at that time. I, I just really knew about just really basic, simple yakitori, chicken breast, thigh, skin. I had some neck before, I had gizzard, and I've had hearts too, but I never knew about sort of these rare parts. And that video definitely uh, inspired me to just want to learn more about that kodawari, that craftsman style, very detailed yakitori. So right now we're kind of going through, just flipping the skewers, just gonna spread again. And 
And the thing with this Yakturi grill, compared to a gas or charcoal, it doesn't get as hot, this electric grill, but it's hot enough. The key is you don't want to dry out your meat, so constantly rotating it. My key is as long as it's hot enough, it's going to start juice, the, releasing the juices, the fats, and you don't want that to drip to the bottom. You want to cook in its own fat, so constantly rotating it. I also like to rotate it onto its sides. A lot of yakitori you might just cook basically the top and bottom, but this one's I'm cooking around the sides and I'll also sort of midway salt just to make sure the salt gets in there a little bit more. Salted in the beginning, but midway salt. Spray a little bit more sake. Got here ready right here. So this is Hatsumoto right here. Going. It's very crunchy, sort of chewy. It's gonna work very well with the tare right here. So sort of my tare mother pot. You know you guys have a lot of you guys have been making your own tare mother pot, wondering if it should be thick or light. All of that, it's gonna change over time. So you'll see kind of the consistency of my tare pot, but it's gonna change. Some people were asking about, about keeping it, uh, how do you store it? So as I've explained in other videos, keep it tight, saran wrap or in a container, plastic container or ceramic container you have and put it in the fridge and just heat it up every so often. So let's go ahead and rotate these. Now, I talked about how the chicken heart is, as I said, very, speaks to my heart. And with Chef Kono showing me his, basically the Hatsumoto, that did it for me to get it started. And that was around February or so when that Eater video came out. Now, fast forward a few more months, I was making more yakitori, trying to learn more. I came across an Instagram post by Yakitori Baka. Yakitori Baka is a chef at Yakitori Moe West. Now he posted a video of him skewering this style, which I call the Yakitori Baka style heart. In that video, in the caption he wrote, I've been skewering it this way for a very long time. No one copies me. My dream is to have this become the global standard of chicken hearts, because traditionally at the shops, you're gonna see other shapes like this, just whole hearts, half hearts, it's different shapes. And I really thought this was really unique and really cool. And I commented back on that Instagram post saying, hey, I'm from America, I really think this is cool and I wanna spread your style in America. And he got really excited. And what happened was basically, he got excited, he responded back saying, oh, finally my yakitori is gonna be overseas. I'm so excited. And that just got our conversation started. And from there on, we became online friends. And a month later, I got to visit Yakitori Moe West where he showed me exactly what he does with his whole chicken breakdown. He even showed me this heart, spent the whole day learning the craft from him. Went afterwards later that night to have his yakitori and it was really good and I really enjoyed that yakitori. And Basically half a year later, I went back to that shop and I got to work there, learn more from him. And half a year later, uh, I got to be part of the Yakitori Moe West team to uh, represent basically our, our, our shop at Yakitori Tatsujin no Kai. Basically it's a Yakitori Masters Meetup or Festival. And this was in Tokyo and it's an exclusive invite only. The top shops of Japan get to go there and I know it was really hard to get in, but because of Yakitori Moe West and basically because I'm part of essentially, I was part of that family, I got to go and it's, um, that's what I mean by the chicken heart, both for the chef Kono showing me the way of the kodawari, the really sort of the rare parts yakitori and you know, yakitori baka showing me just like heart doesn't have to be as simple like this. It can be thoughtful and made in this way where you have by folding it, now it's cooking from the inside out. So keeping the juices in, inside out. So let's go ahead and have the Hatsumoto. It's ready to go. Gonna dip it once, put it back on the grill. Got the Yakitori Baka Tokyo style heart. Dip. All right, here, let's put some Sancho Japanese peppercorns. Here, Hatsumoto. 
then dip again for the yakitori baka style parts and so this is the shop yakitori moe it's basically the, the shop that the yakitori moe west family put some jimmy very happy right here the hearts Hatsumoto artery and the yakitori baka style heart right here if it's taking a little bit longer turbo charge it the torch let's get to going a little bit there we have it the chicken hearts so for some of you guys out there who might be much more familiar, more comfortable with more of the common parts, let's just say like the breasts or the thighs, I think the chicken heart is a really good introduction to sort of the, the rare parts, the innards. We still have gizzards and liver left as the other common innards, but the heart, because it just has a nice sort of meaty, it's a little bit gamey, but sort of a red meat sort of texture, I think. It's a really good intro to get into the other parts of yakitori. And even from the same heart, show you guys a few different ways to skewer it, whole, half, just get the artery part on top. This is a Hatsumoto, and you can fold it over and you have basically the Tokyo style, the yakitori baka style. And this is something that, you know, I've learned picking up from these masters and I've always honored what I've learned, I, whether in this video or let's say with the Yakitori Baka Style Hearts and uh, when I do my pop-ups or events, I always write it, the Yakitori Baka Style Hearts and I think it's really cool to sort of know where the lineage of a lot of these Yakitori styles come from and I wanted to definitely pass it on to you guys. As I said, with any of my Yakitori videos, this is just one way to do it, one style. This is how I picked it up and how I made it my own, but I want you guys to use this as a starting point and come up with your own different ways, different toppings, different ways of skewering, cutting, however, to come up with your own ways for you guys to enjoy. So uh, I talked about Chef Kono in New York and Yakitori Baka at Yakitori Moe West in Tokyo. Definitely I'll, I'll leave their information in the description. If you guys have Instagram, make sure to follow what they're doing. And when it's safe to go out there and eat, definitely wanna, I can't wait to go back to New York and can't wait to go back to Tokyo to eat their food and, and learn more too. But in the meantime, we have our videos here and hopefully you guys have learned something new today. And I look forward to showing you guys the next video. So see you guys around next week. All right, bye guys.